welcome to my class. Now let's have our topic number 4, computing probability corresponding to a given random variable. Okay, so our objective is to illustrate a probability distribution for a discrete random variable and computes probabilities corresponding to a given random variable. Computing probability corresponding to a given random variable, we will use this given illustration that the probability E, which is the number of outcomes in the event, all over the number of outcomes in the sample space. To illustrate this, let's have, the, let's have this example. Kasiglan's Bakery is known for its famous Filipino delicacies. Among this food, which is native delicious food called kakanin, which is a le leche puto. The big shop owner recorded the number of boxes of leche puto that were delivered each day. The number of boxes delivered for 10 days is shown below. So here is the table. These are, these are the number of days, which is 10, and the number of boxes which were delivered per day. Now, to, for us to be able to illustrate this uh, probability tab uh, distribution table, let's have this given illustration. Okay, okay so, so let's, let's have, have this given, given table. So the, the table, table that was presented in our given example, example were in uh, we record the number of boxes that were sold each day for 10 days. Okay, okay so, so first... Um, let us uh, tally the number of boxes that were distributed for 10 days. So, indicating the uh, number, we have 35, we have 37, we have 40, 42, 45, and 50. After that, let us know count the numbers of 35 boxes that were sold for 10 days. So, if you're going to observe, isa lang, mayroong 35. Ang 37 natin ay dalawa. Ang 40 natin ay isa. Ang 40 natin ay isa, dalawa. Our 45 is 1, 2, and 3. And lastly, ang 50 natin ay 1. So, to count, we have 4, 5, 6, 8, uh, 9, and 10. So, total for 10 days distribution. After this, now let us now illustrate this in a given probability distribution table. So, para makakuha tayo ng probability distribution, gagawa tayo ng panibagong table. So, naka-indicate dito yung number of boxes. O, ito yung, ito yung ating X. And the other one is ito naman yung ating probability. Ito na. Ano natin siya hahanapin. So, lagay natin ito. We have 35, 37, 40, 42, 45, and 50. Okay, let us count how many 35 we have. So, we have 1. So, we're going to use denominator 10. Ayan. So, it indicates that the, the given uh, probability is the number of outcomes, number of outcomes over the number of outcomes in the sample. So, total niya ay 10, di ba? So, 37 natin ay 2 over 10 or 1 over 5. Ang 40 natin ay 1 over 10. Ang 42 natin ay 2 over 10 or 1 over 5. Ang 45 natin ay 3 over 10. And ang 50 natin is 1 over 10. And that is how to create a probability distribution table. Now, to answer the given question, after this, uh, using this, uh, after setting the probability table, distribution table, uh, so we have already arrived at this. Now, the first question is, what is the probability that 40 or more boxes will be delivered in a day? So, paano pa ganito ang problem natin? So, if you're going to observe 40 or more, we see being kasali si 40. So, it means that you have to add the probability of 40, 40, 42, 45, 50. So, ang 40 natin dito ay uh, 1 over 10, 42 natin 1 over 5, ang 45 natin 3 over 10, and ang 50 natin is 1 over 10. 
Okay, to solve, we have... Okay, so, uh, to solve the first problem is to, of what is the probability that 40 or more, so we are referring to the value of the probability which is more, 40 or more boxes that which should be delivered the day. So, the probability which indicates 40 or more are from 40 to 50. Bakit kasama si 40? Kasi, sabi niya, 40 or more. Okay, now... Um, um, let us now determine what is the probability of P40 or the probability of 40. So, in our table, as you can see, we have 1 over 10. So, 1 over 10. Yung ating P42 is 1 over 5 or 2 over 10, okay? Ang ating P45 is 3 over 10. Ang ating P50 ay 1 over 10. Okay, so, if we're going to add the, the, the numerator and with the same denominator, so, kapin mo lang yung 10, so, we have 5, 6, and 7. 7 over 10 or 0.7. So, this is the probability of which the value of number of boxes is 4 or more. Okay, let's have another one. What is the probability of the number of boxes Delivered will be at least 37. When you say at least 37, pinakamababa na si 37. Pero hindi daw higit sa 50 but not more than 50. So, it means that we're going to uh, add from 37 up to 45. Hindi kasama si 50. Sabi niya kasi, hindi daw so sobra sa 50. So, we're not going to, uh, to add 50. Hence, we're going to illustrate this as um, the probability between 37 to 50. Okay? To illustrate, have the solution. Okay, okay so, so let's, let's have, have the second, second problem, problem, which is, uh, uh, let's, let's solve the second problem, which is, what is the probability that the number of boxes, boxes delivered will be at least 37, but not more than 50? To illustrate, we have the probability, which is the value of the probability is, uh, will be at least 37, so here, referring to 37, and which will not be more than 50. So, hindi kasama si 50. Okay. So, lahat ng probability from 37 up to the number which is less than 50. So, we have 37, 40, 42, and 45. Now, let us get the probability of uh, 37. So, the 37 probability is 1 over uh, 5 or 2 over 10. No? Okay. So, plus the probability of 40 is 1 over 10. The probability of 42 is 1 over 5. And the probability of 45 is 3 over 10. Okay, okay to illustrate that 1 over 5 is equal to 0 0.2, 0 0.2, plus 0 0.1, plus 0 0.2, plus 0 0.3. Okay. Now, to add the given, so we have uh, uh, 0.2 plus 0.1, plus 0.2 plus 0.3 is we have uh, 8 or 0 0.8. Okay. Kung sa fraction naman, that is 8 over 10 or 4 over 5. So, this is our answer for our given probability which is less than uh, 37 but not more than 50. Not more than 50. Okay, let's have this one. What is the probability that at most 40 boxes will be delivered on a particular day? So, pinakamataas na si 40. Ibig sabihin nun, um, we're referring to 40 to 35. Okay? So, let us now uh, listen to the solution. Okay, let's have now the uh, uh, problem which uh, asks us to determine the probability that at most 40 boxes will be delivered on that particular day. It means that the problem shows yun daw pinakamadami na ay 40. So, ibig sabihin kasali si uh, 40 dun sa ating uh, probability. Now, to illustrate what are the table and uh, what is the probability of P40. So, we have 1 over 10. The probability of 37 is 1 over 5 or 2 over 10. And the probability of 35 is 1 over 10. Okay, now to compute, let us add this and uh, easily can determine this by transforming this into decimal also. So, we have uh, 0 0.1, this is 0 0.2, this is 0 0.1. 
Okay, to uh, solve, that's now add the given uh, decimal. So, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.4. So, in fraction, we can show this as 4 over 10. Or 2 over 5. Okay. Okay, let's take this last example. So, let us find the probability which is uh, less than or equal to 45. So, we're looking for the given value of the sum of the probability 40 and 50. The first one is to be able for us to get the probability which is less than or equal to 45. So, mula kay 45 mga kay 35. Hindi siya kasali. Hindi kasali si 50, ano? So, ayan yan. And the last one naman is the probability of 40. Ito ay add nyo, tsaka probability ni 50. Okay, so to solve, let us listen. Okay, so let's have the last problem here. So let us determine the probability which is less than uh, equal to 45. So let us now determine what are the probability of 45 to up to 35. So the probability of 45 is 3 over 10. So we're just going to write 3 over 10. Um, we have 42, we have 1 over 5, and uh, we have P40, or the probability of 40, we have 1 over 10. Uh, the probability of 37, which is 1 over 5, or 2 over 10, and the probability of 35 is 1 over 10. Okay, so let us now add this, 1, 3 over 10, plus 1 over 5, plus 1 over 10. So this in decimal, we have 0 0.3, plus 0 0.2. Plus 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. So to add, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 0.9 or 9 over 10. So this is our answer for the, uh, the probability which is less than equal to 45. Moving on to the next one, let us get the sum of the probability of 40 and the probability of 50. So we can have here... The probability of 40 is 1 over 10. And the probability of 50 is 1 over 10. So, we can get that is 2 over 10 or 0 0.2. Thank you for watching and happy learning. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Happy learning!